I often tell about my dad and I looking up to the stars at night in our home in Missouri. Beautiful night sky, you can see the Milky Way, and you automatically dream of going up there. You can't help but dream about that. Something happened inside of me when the space shuttle went away. It was a really sad feeling. You may have thought originally that it was going to be the end, but it was just the end of a chapter, and that the next chapter is just beginning. This runway has been quiet too long. The last active mission to land here was in July of 2011. It's time to bring it back to life with the Dream Chaser program. To know that you once again will be out there with our eyes in the sky, waiting for sonic booms, trying to pick that vehicle out of the sky as it comes in at a steep angle of attack, um, where it will feather just before touchdown. It's pretty exciting to think about. I feel like sometimes it is still so <laughs> crazy to me to think that we're, we're doing it. I get chills just thinking about it. The moment that says, hey, we did this. <laughs> That's gonna be a historic event, something that I think as a nation, we really should take pride in. For five years, the Sierra Space Team has been diligently designing, building, and testing America's next generation space plane for NASA. Dream Chaser is nine meters long. It can carry cargo to and from low Earth orbit, as well as support at least six astronauts, then safely land on a runway. It's an incredible design. It's extremely compact. It's about a quarter of the size of the space shuttle. The Dream Chaser is being designed. It could rendezvous with any space station and then fly back to a runway landing. It's just an incredible how much of a leap forward in technology it is compared to what the shuttle was. Dream Chaser was selected by NASA to provide cargo delivery, return, and disposal service for the International Space Station. Space exploration is really hard. How do we lead the effort to be a pioneer? How do we unite space exploration with Earth advancement? I think tenacity sums up the embodiment of what it means to push forward in light of challenges in order to do something great. Without the ups and downs, Dream Chaser wouldn't be where it is today. We struggled at the beginning trying to figure out things that'll work, but because we stuck together and we worked really hard, it's just more opportunity for us to grow and to get better. We put our heart and soul into this. With hard work, it's something achievable. All the challenges that you've had along the way, all the pain and tribulations and long nights and things that you've given up, it was all worth it. This, of all dreams, is the dream worth chasing. Dream Chaser is the vehicle of the future. Its potential will unlock so many solutions to the challenges that lie ahead as a human race. It's gonna change everything. At Sierra Space, our mission this year is tenacity. And it's also our culture. It takes shared vision and tenacious work to design smart solutions from the largest component to the smallest subsystem. We're working very hard to make this vehicle reality. It's, it's three shifts a day, seven days a week. The people working on this project are some of the smartest, most capable, most passionate people that I will ever encounter in my life. Today we're working on the pressurization of the cabin of the vehicle. And this is important because while we're on station, we don't want to lose pressure that could cause hazardous environments for the astronauts. I've been working on this piece of hardware that helps the Dream Chaser separate from the cargo module. And nothing is going to be more rewarding than seeing that come back uh, into Earth successfully. Tenacity is the name of the first space plane of many in our fleet. But it's also more than that. It's how we all work together to make dreams worth chasing real. The energy that you feel when you walk in the building is infectious. I think what sets us apart is it's really the people that we're able to attract and to bring on board to, to bring our products to life. I feel extremely fortunate. Um, I say to my crew all the time, there are 7.9 billion people on this planet. How many are getting to able to uh, spend their days building space planes? I don't think I've ever been on teams before where we get this much done. Every day I create things that people are going to be in awe of, products that are gonna change the history of humanity. That is something that kind of shakes me to the core. It's overwhelming because it, I've seen it when it was like drawings. <laughs> so to see it like in real life, I'm like, wow, guys, we're actually doing this. I'm creating technology that will directly impact how people live in space in the future. It's like working at Apple before they created the iPhone. That, that's all I ever wanted to use my skills and my time here on Earth to make the world a better place. One decade. 10 dream chasers. 
over 100 missions. That's the goal. When I come to work every day and I see tenacity being built, I think about all of the discoveries that she's going to make and how much it's going to impact our kids' lives in the future. The work we're doing today here on Dream Chaser is going to foster the next generation of explorers and people who question the why and look for the next solution and keep that sense of wonder and what is next and what could be. Somebody's got to start with the impossible. We have a dream and tenacity is how dreams are made real.